Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in for my November monthly recap. I'll get to that and all the releases that have come out on the platform during the month, but first I really want to thank everybody for their support and encouragement during Black Friday. Uh, we hosted a huge sale that ran from Thursday into Cyber Monday, a sale on in-game, downloadable merch store as well as bonus gold, so it was pretty massive. People seem to really enjoy it, and we just want to thank you uh, for the support. Now we'll get into the releases for the month of November. Up first, we have Soul Senki. This was released for PC and mobile. This is a beat-em-up JRPG. So a little bit about this game. Zeo Longdown is a warrior who escaped from the battle of the Kamizumi family. As a result of the burning of the mansion, she defeated several Seijo and Edward's warriors. She hates to surrender and can't forgive people who break the rules. She doesn't intend to follow the Sato or Edward families, but hides herself while looking for the heir of the Kamazumi family. Long ago, the weapons of heroes turned into adultified battle souls. Those who can control battle souls with their will are called battle soul masters. Using this ability, the battle soul masters became the factions that dominated countless battlefields. But now, the warriors are dragging the whole world into their war. Some of the key features are smooth battle animations, full voice acting, clothing damage on all the girls, over 50 girls to unlock, super sexy animated scenes, multiple positions for each girl. In the download store, we released Why Is There a Girl in My House? This is a visual novel published by Top Hat Studios and developed by Betulsoft. A little bit about this game. It's a short, kinetic, Yuri visual novel. And what would you do if you found a cat girl in your apartment? The protagonist has to answer that exact question. Elena is a hard-working businesswoman who just can't seem to find time for herself. She works a tiring job and is lucky to relax in the time she has at her home. After a hard day of work as usual, she returns to her apartment to find quite a big surprise. There's a cat girl in her home! Alice is an excitable, slightly airheaded cat girl who has made herself right at home thanks to Elena's auntie. The two begin to bond in their free time. Could this be the answer to Elena's loneliness? Find out in this short, sweet, and lewd Yuri visual novel. Another release was Nin Nin Days. This is a visual novel published and developed by Create. A sullen main character and a clumsy female ninja living together? In this romantic adventure set in Akihabara, you'll laugh and you'll cry over the entertaining lifestyle of a slightly erotic female ninja and the main character's cohabitation. Some of the key features, smooth character animation via the emote system, different routes and ED, high quality event CG, and stories set in an actual Japanese town. Up next we have Clockwork Industries. This is the complete edition. I know it was launched on the store before, but this is the package that features all the DLC. So this is an action adventure game published and developed by Digital Seductions. This complete edition is an erotic adventure game where you play as Dwayne, an every man who, to his own surprise, wins an online competition to be the guest of honor for an event held at Cockwork Industries, a renowned yet very mysterious body alteration facility. This version includes the base game and both DLC packs. Gameplay-wise, it's a mix between a dating sim and a classic point-and-click adventure game. And finally, we have Rune Girl. This is a casual game published and developed by ADOG. A casual minigame that takes place in a mysterious world filled with a variety of girls, cute cats, and docile maids. Some of the key features are 10 girls to encounter, 35 CGs to unlock, 7 live 2D animation, 7 voiced girls, and it's a one-tap casual game. Well, thank you so much for sticking around for that. I know it was a short list, but it was very sweet. You should definitely check out some of these games if you haven't already. If you want to stick around for constant news and updates, give us a follow on Twitter, 
Facebook, head over to our Discord, or you can join our Reddit. We're very active on all of these, and you can ask us questions and get information at all times. And also, give us a follow here on YouTube if you haven't already. Take care.